In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Toast Titanium 20 to burn a DVD with chapters. I recently published a video that walks through how to use Toast to burn a DVD. I'll drop a link in the description if you'd like to check it out. Russ dropped a comment on that video asking, how do you add chapters to a video? That's a great question. I'm happy to tell you that Toast does have a chapters feature, and I'll show you how it works over the next couple of minutes. Let's jump into Toast. As before, we'll open Toast, choose the Burn DVD option, and then drag our video into the DVD menu where we want it to appear. Next, we'll position the mouse pointer over the video thumbnail. We might need to jiggle the mouse around a little bit to cause the contextual buttons to appear. And after a second or so, we should see a red button at the top right corner of the thumbnail and an orange button at the bottom right corner. Clicking that red button will remove the video from our DVD project. The orange button will let us add chapters. Let's click it. Once we've clicked the thumbnail to add a chapter, Toast puts us into the chapters panel on the left-hand side of the Toast window. It also automatically created a chapter that points to the start of the video we added. At the top of this panel is a mini player that allows us to scrub through our video. Just below that is a timestamp that reflects the playhead in the mini player. Next, there are buttons that take us to the beginning and the end of our video, and a play pause button. In this video, I'll show you. We can use these tools to find the exact moment where we'd like to add a chapter. We're gonna add some chapters manually. I'm gonna to scroll to around 37 seconds in this video and then click play and pause until I find the right moment for my first chapter mark. Now I'll click add chapter. If we direct our attention to the center column where we're building the DVD menu, we can see that there are two new thumbnails in the right of the video we added. The first one is a chapter mark that points to the start of our video. The second chapter is the one we manually added. As we continue to add chapters, this structure will grow. At any point, we can jiggle the mouse pointer over a chapter to see a small red circle. We can click that circle to remove a chapter mark. And the other thing we can do with chapters is give them meaningful names. By default, they're numbered. Let's name them Introduction and let's get started. And while we're naming things, we can also rename the chapter menu, which is the default name it gets. Let's click it and rename it based on our video content, how to enter data in Excel. Let's click this pencil to preview the chapter menu so far. Okay, let's add a couple more chapters. Now I'm gonna drag the playhead to just about three minutes and then click play and pause to find another moment. Let's click add chapter again. The add chapter button becomes the delete chapter button just after you click it. So if you accidentally remove a chapter, you'll need to scrub the playhead to the point in the timeline again and re-add it. Now we can name this chapter Modifying Data in a Cell. Notice that as we click each chapter thumbnail, our mini player advances to the corresponding timestamp in the video timeline. The next manual chapter I'll add is around 4 minutes and 54 seconds. Let's name it About Cell Formats. Now let's talk about how to add automatic chapters. You can only add automatic chapters if you haven't created any manual ones. We could remove all the manual chapters we added. However, I'll drag another video into my DVD menu instead. I'll jiggle the mouse over this new thumbnail and then click the chapter button. In this case, we'll tell Toast how frequently we want chapters to be added. We can set them to appear every so many minutes and seconds. This video is just under four minutes. So let's set the chapters to happen around every 30 seconds. Now let's click the automatic chapters button and the mini player shows our chapter marks on the timeline. The DVD menu has grown to include six chapter marks, another chapter menu, and two more chapter marks. Why did it do that? <laughs> because this DVD template has room for only six thumbnails on a DVD page. Let's preview the menu so you can see how it looks. As you can see, you can build a robust DVD menu using Toast. However, as you do, you'll notice that the thumbnails start to sprawl all over the place. Toast lets you collapse elements of the menu to tuck them away until you need them. Just click this arrow to hide subordinate menu elements. This will give you more space to work and hide all that complexity as you build. You can click the small gray circle again to expand the hidden items. And that's how you use Toast to add chapters to your DVDs in Titanium 20. Drop a comment and let me know if you have any questions or if you have a DVD burning app I should look at. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.